Hello everyone, Coach Lockie here. I've got a quick tip for you to try and help you on those dreaded bear lies. Oh, look at that. I found a lovely patch of bear lie, which you're gonna get on most golf courses, especially when you've had a summer like we have. I don't think I've ever known the English summer to have so many heat weather warnings. This one's also over a bunker which makes it a little bit more scary. Let's talk you through how you should be approaching this short game shot. People with good short games probably don't worry about these types of shots too much. Better short game players aren't so scared of these because you're not gonna get grass, sand, debris in between your club face and the ball. So in theory, it's gonna be a lot more predictable. It's gonna come off sort of the bottom grooves. It's gonna come off pretty quick and you need to adjust to that. Now there are ways, and I'm gonna talk to you how I set up to this type of shot to try and execute it as well as possible because we wanna make our margin for error as big as possible on this tough shot. But that's number one. I'm gonna be thinking about how this ball's gonna come off the club face. It's gonna come off a bit quicker. I'm not gonna to have to hit it as hard. So setup wise, I'm not setting up with my club like I normally would flat on the floor. I'm getting that toe to be on the ground. So raising the handle a lot more than what I would normally. That's gonna affect where that loft is pointing. And I'm also gonna tweak that face open a little and use the toe end of my club and that big bit of bounce there. Because you can still hit the ground before the ball with these types of shots if you're doing it properly. Once you've raised the handle and opened the face, because you're doing that, you have to aim a little bit to the left of where you normally would because that ball might pop off to the right slightly. That might feel weird for a lot of you. You might not do that very often in your golf swing. So get on that short game area and have a little bit of a play. Handle up, open the face slightly, aim to the left. I'm gonna go narrow sort of stance because I wanna stand a bit taller because my handles are also raised up. And then I'm going to be trying to feel like I've got that massive low spot in my arc by turning my body a bunch. Body's an engine and all that stuff. I always use this analogy and I got this from Andrew Rice years and years ago. You wanna think about your club la as a plane landing on a runway. You don't wanna crash the nose into the ground. You want it landing nice and smooth. No crashing, nice and smooth. Shall we hit one? Upright, weight left. Turn, turn. Caught the ground before the ball there. See how it's popped up? Not quite got the distance right, but the strike was absolutely fine. Let's have a couple more goes. I honestly think as well, if you practice in these sorts of situations off these sorts of lies, which you're not very comfortable with, this sort of lie will only make your strike and your short game better. Where I used to work, um, in the office, when it was, wasn't that busy, I used to practice my chipping in the office, but shh, don't tell the boss. Uh, we had a pin board and we had a really tight carpet in the office and I would try and hit it as high up on that pin board as I could. So my strike got super, super good. And it was at a linksy Heathlandy type course. So there was always these tight bear sort of lies and it really, really, really helped. I feel like I need to be practicing more of these types of shots, to be honest. Upright, aiming left a bit more. Not as much speed in the club face because it's gonna pop off this ground quite quick. Look at that strike. That's so nice. One more, one more. Let's get up close for you as well, shall we? Not a bad little selection of shots there. Happy with these two. First one could have been a bit better, but from those sorts of lies, which lots of people struggle with, I'm happy with those results. Hope that helps. And also just a quick one before I do go, you'll also get bare, soggy, wet lies in the winter. When you get to that sort of situation, try the same 
but add some more speed. That's the only real difference as a little side note. Thanks all for watching and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're enjoying the content and all these free tips. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.